Shalom family. So Jake comes this ministry. Um, when we reach other countries, I partner with an organization called World Help. They have very clear transparency. You see exactly what's going on. They definitely do take anything that you've donated or sent to them and it gets to people. You get immediate feedback once those donations have reached the intended targets, be it North Korea, Israel, Afghanistan, America right now with the whole hurricane situation and the devastation caused. And you can see where we're touching lives and we're praying together for the people in these situations. So they've put out a prayer list to run over the next month. And I wanted to just go through a few points on this prayer list of theirs, which will open your eyes to the dire situation of the church right now worldwide. When everyone thinks now everything's fine, persecution's not too bad. You just need to read through this current prayer list to understand. And I'll just take highlights of each section. I won't read you the whole piece. So the first one here is pray for the safety of Christians in Afghanistan. Afghan Christians must keep their faith a secret or face imprisonment, torture or death. <clears throat> that is right now, 2024. And the main reason for that is Islam clamping down against Christianity and Christians in this area and in a really bad way. Pray for the Iranian underground church, which is thriving, by the way. Converting from Islam to Christianity is illegal in Iran. It is against the law. Can you believe that? Iranian Christians face immense social pressure, abuse and imprisonment. Distributing Bibles in the country is banned. So many Christ followers don't even have a copy of God's word to bring them comfort. So we work on getting Bibles into Iran. They are smuggled into Iran. They're taken through. God covers those smuggling runs and they get to people and then they've got to share that Bible amongst themselves and hide it so that they're never caught with it. So you find them memorizing scriptures and sharing the scriptures they've memorized with each other when they secretly meet in basements or wherever as small groups to be able to encourage one another and lift one another up and they are growing. Pray for the Chinese Christ followers facing oppression. Chinese Christians face increased persecution as the government pressures them to follow communist ideology. Children under 18 are banned from attending religious services and Christ followers are constantly monitored all the time. Not a great environment. Pray for God's protection over Christians in Nigeria. More Christians are killed in Nigeria every year than in the rest of the world combined. Again, this is because of the majority Muslim population that is just outrageously attacking, burning down churches, murdering Christians and pastors just because they are not Islam. Pray for the persecuted church in North Korea, something that's really close to my heart. Christians in North Korea endure the worst persecution in the world right now. Christianity is completely outlawed and even saying the name of Jesus means instant imprisonment. You say the name of Jesus, you're going to jail. It's that simple. An ongoing food shortage in North Korea means that most Christ followers are also starving. So that's what I like with World Help in North Korea is they're not only supplying Bible or Bibles to these believers and smuggling them in. They're also providing up to two weeks of food with that Bible. So you give, give them the bread of life and you give them actual bread. So they're surviving and eating and they have the word of God to sustain them. So it's really important to remember the suffering and the struggles the church is undergoing right now and new believers and yet they're growing wonderfully and please remember them in your prayers remember to touch those lives bring them before god's throne and remember that they are part of us and this persecution is growing stronger and stronger in the world and as these islamic tentacles reach out all over the West. We're starting to see more and more persecution, more laws being enacted against Christianity, against prayer and against our faith. And we will stand strong because these Christians are an example for us at this time 
of how one can stand strong and trust in the Lord through all these things. God bless. Keep praying for everyone who really needs it. Again, the hurricane victims in America, please just pray for them. Do what you can. See how you can help. And then we can give them Jesus. And we can pray with them and show them that the Lord is alive and the Lord loves them. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom. Hi, Shulton. I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. Please excuse me if I said it bad. Uh, but thank you so much for the gift that you made to help these people in Asheville who have really lost everything. We were told by the city today that it could be six weeks before they get water back. Six weeks at the best. So we'll have this drive through where people ask for what they, well, we ask them what they need and they see water, water, water. It's hard, but it's harder for them. But you can see a lot of our helpers are at Trinity Baptist Church here in Asheville. When we give them to the people that have lost everything, their boxes, we pray with them, we encourage them, we let them know that they're not forgotten. And it's because of helpers like you that we will always be here for them. Thank you.